Stronghold Crusader. The bots in this game were really smart for their own time. Compared to modern day strategy games though they're not so smart. So let's see which ones are truly terrifying. And which ones are complete pushovers. Let's begin with the weakest ones first. Speaking of which. Number 16. The Rat. Wow what a surprise. This lord only exists to be bad at the game. His economy is really weak and his defenses are non-existent. And his units are archers and spearmen. He does try to be aggressive with them but he's nowhere near any other lord. Weakest lord in the game by far. Number 15. The Philip. Many of you might disagree with this one. But I believe there's no one weaker than Philip in this game. Well, except Rat of course. So Philip is basically a more competent rat. He does use knights which might sound really good but trust me that's the only good part about his aggression. He also has ballistas on his towers, but then again he doesn't make enough units and that's his weakness. Number 14. The Sultan. So here's how Sultan works. When he has gold he's somewhat scary. And once he runs out of gold he stops playing the game. Like seriously he has no buildings in his base. So he is designed to be weak. But he's still not as weak as Philip and Rat in my opinion just because of how much better he becomes when he's starting with a lot of gold. And of course his castle is the weakest one right next to Rat's castle. So he gets a zero in defense. Number 13. The Snake. I really liked Snake as a character. But unfortunately he's not that good either. He does make catapults and lots of archers from both factions and he tends to make a lot of them. He's okay but I can't say he's good at the game. He also does slave run by which can be annoying for some players. But overall, he's below average at most things. Number 12. Abbott. Abbott is an interesting one. He has okay economy and good defense and he does constantly send attack waves towards players. His weakness is that the attack waves don't hit that hard. But even then I think his defenses boost him quite high on this list. Number 11. The Marshal. Good old sleepy Marshal. I have no idea why I'm putting him higher than Abbott. If you're wondering why I'm saying this well it's because he's a really passive lord. He rarely attacks and even when he does his attacks are a complete joke. I still think his attacks are a little scarier than the previous characters though just because he makes trebuchets and swordsmen. Maybe not scarier than Abbott though, I think it's fair to call this a tie. I don't know. Number 10. The Pig. Finally seeing some real characters. Pig is one of the most aggressive lords in the game. I mean he might not hit as hard as he used to hit in Stronghold 1 but he's definitely fast. Just try playing against him with 500 speed or something. His major weakness is not making enough economy behind his attacks. His catapults and crossbowmen are still really annoying so number 10 fits him well. Number 9. Emperor Frederick. Another sleepy lord. I'm sorry but Freddy sucks. The game sets him up to be the next wolf but he's nowhere near as good. He might copy his castle designs after wolf and some of the units as well but he just doesn't play the game properly. Once every year he might throw an attack at you but he never makes enough units. He's the easiest lord to rush and kill early on because of that. So this is it Freddy, you're going under Richard and Wolf. Number 8. Sheriff. And another passive lord. I mean when you're playing with or against him you might feel like he's not even in the game and that's kinda true. He doesn't attack much but his defenses are the real thing. He burns everything down to stop your attack. And that's pretty much everything about this lord. Really slows you down when you want to siege him. Number 7. Richard the Lionheart. Oh look it's the guy from the game's cover. And I really think he's underpowered in this game. Number 7 isn't too bad but I mean you'd expect him to compete with Saladin at least. There's nothing too crazy about him, he attacks, he defends, and he has an economy. He's basically Frederick if he was playing the game. Number 6. The Caliph. 
Here comes the Fire Lord. Everyone's most hated lord to play against. If you played Stronghold Crusader before you know exactly what I mean. So the first lord in our top 5 is. The Nizar. Nizar is pretty good overall. One of the best defenses even though he might be exposed to catapults. Really good economy to sustain him through a whole match. And he's pretty aggressive. His major weakness is that he only uses assassins to attack. And when you know you're only playing against them they become much easier to play against. But that's about it. Number 4. Was Ear. The Horse Archer Lord. He's a really aggressive lord and he constantly sends swarms of horse archers at you. If you're giving him a lot of starting gold then have fun playing against a million horse archers. And as you might have guessed it his weakness is economy. But even with that he's still really strong at this game. He is probably the number 2 lord when it comes to aggression. Number 3. The Saladin. So this lord doesn't actually hit as hard as was ear. But he's better at everything else. Saladin is basically really good at playing the game. He has really good economy. He has a surprisingly good defense. And his attacks are also good. In some ways he's really similar to Richard. He's not too aggressive or too passive. He's playing to win the game. I'm sorry Wolf. I'm sorry I have to do this but you will always remain my favorite character in this game. He doesn't really need an introduction. He's the big final boss of Stronghold, strongest defenses by far and even the best at attack and economy among every European lord. But why isn't he the number one you might ask? Well because I value aggression above other things and even though I rated some lords higher than the others because of their defenses there's still one person who's literally insane. You already know who I mean and you're probably thinking this is a joke but no. Our number one lord is the Emir. But why? Because he literally prints units. Don't get fooled by his friendly look. This guy is actually a mastermind when it comes to war. He sends swordsmen at you like their cheap ants. He never runs out of gold. Once he's done with his castle you're playing a tower defense game against him. I have no idea how he can afford so many swordsmen but his attack frequency is by far the highest in the game. And that makes him the number one AI lord in the game. Keep in mind this is based on how difficult it is for human player to play against these. Not based on who beats who. Of course if I did that then the list would be totally different. So do you agree with the list? It's okay if you don't, please post down your own ranking in the comments down below so we can have a discussion. And please make sure to subscribe if you like Stronghold as I'll be posting more content like this and I need your support to make better content. I love you all for the support, thanks for watching and have a good day.